748 at WBAP. Mosquito Steve joins us right now because we wanted to reach out to him after the CDC issues the travel warning for Miami over the weekend. We thought, could Texas be next? We know there have been reported cases of Zika found here in Dallas, all of them imported here in the state of Texas. Uh, but, Steve, could this be something that uh, Texas could be facing on the horizon? Hi, Brian. Well, good morning. Um, sure, it could be something that we face. Um, it's really important that if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant that you be careful and you wear repellent all the time when you're outdoors. Um, if you're just a guy like me, <laughs> then it's just a mild virus and it's really um, it's flu-like symptoms and there's really not that much to panic about. What can we be doing right now to, well, to uh, eliminate Zika from happening here in Texas? Well, if you get sick, get tested right away because what's happening and what happened in this little area in Miami is somebody got sick, didn't get tested, then they got bit by a mosquito, and then that mosquito was then carrying the disease to other people. So so it's important if you feel sick that you get tested and uh, find out exactly what it is, especially if your symptoms are flu-like, you got body aches and things like that. Okay, if people don't hire you and they just want to go into Home Depot and buy a can of uh, mosquito, <laughs> mosquito be gone. Is there a product that you could recommend for a quick blast in the backyard? Uh, other than, uh, and I'm not trying to take away from your business, just a quick, you know. I understand. Okay. Well, so so I'm actually I've tested a lot of these products. So I'll tell you, there's a. Um, in fact, I was uh, looking at CVS. Uh, at their uh, website this morning, there's a guy on there saying Miami, uh, Miami's new perfume should be DEET. Here's the thing. DEET breaks down in about 45 minutes. I would highly recommend that you try Picardin. A product with Picardin in it is is actually going to last longer than DEET. In all of my studies, they gave it, it lasted at least 15 to 30 minutes longer than DEET did. DEET broke down in about 45 minutes each time. So wear a repellent. Doing a yard spray um, is going to help, but if, if you you really want to be protected. West Nile virus, we've got three neuroinvasive cases up here in, in North Texas. We should be more concerned about that. So you need to be wearing a repellent every time you go outside. Uh, Picardin could be found in what? Is that is that, that skin so soft bug repellent? Well, it is. Now, there's an Avon skin so soft that has it. There's other products that have it. Now, what I found is that if you have a lotion or if you rub something in, it's half as effective as normal. So I would look for a spray and you spray on that's going to give you the most protection. So Picardin. Now, my product, I'll tell you, mine beats all of them by a mile. But um, if you don't have access to mine or if you're running through the store real quick and want to grab something, just look on the label. If it says P-I-C-A-R-D-I-N, if it says Picard, it's actually Picardin, uh, then that's the stuff to get. Now, uh, as far as these mosquitoes, these uh, uh, Zika mosquitoes, they're indoor mosquitoes. They're, they're they're hard to get to. Is there a trick to do it to it uh, to getting them? No, not really. They're actually they're very frail, so they're they're not great flyers. That's one of the reasons why the areas uh, area seems to be contained to about a square mile in Miami. They're not flyers. They don't travel as much as like the Culex, so they're little frail mosquitoes. So. So most repellents and most stuff that you apply to the yard, it's going to work fine on the 80s mosquitoes. It's the 80s Aegypti and 80s Albopictus that we've got to worry about. And they they will feed all day long, though. So they're not just morning and and, uh, night feeders. They will feed all throughout the day. However, when it's over 100 degrees, uh, they they even know to stay out of the sun. My my neighbor turned me on to a product with a and I know I don't want to get in your business, uh, mosquito Steve, but I, but, <laughs> I, right. but I got to bring it up anyway. Uh, with my backpack blower, adding a tank to it, uh, and then I'll blow this Tal Star stuff uh, that that you can get at like a um, uh, farm and ranch yeah farm and uh-huh. ranch place. Am I doing any good with that? Um, uh, well, our, uh, I'm not sure about uh, Tal Star in particular brands, but I, I will tell you that's what. So the guys that uh, my service providers they go out and spray. We've got a yard spray that they spray, yeah. and it lasts about two weeks. And and the great thing about ours is it's not poison, so we're we're not. Uh, we don't kill grass. We don't kill anything. We actually repel. And so um, so our yard spray works very, very well. But, yes, if you can do a yard spray, but here's the thing. Anything that you spray on your yard, nothing, nothing that you spray on your yard mm-hmm. is going to keep mosquitoes from flying in. So even if you put DDT out there, a mosquito can fly in and still come and get you, and it will because all it cares about is a blood meal. 
You know, I've got about four gallons of DDT I inherited from my grandpa. I'm going to put them on eBay this weekend. Hey, just sell the brand. Yeah, yeah. I'll buy it. Mosquitoes, yeah, exactly. you bet. We'll all buy it. Mosquitosteve.com. I'm looking at your website. Great website. So if people want to get a hold of you and hire you, mosquitosteve.com. There you go. Off we go to traffic. It's a classic. Chevrolet.com right now. Traffic. Watch. Here is. 